Hello, and welcome to the Humanoid Robotics Lab at Georgia Tech, where our mission is to work towards a future where robots have human and even superhuman capabilities. This is Hubo, one of the most advanced robots on campus. As you can see, many students are busy working on what makes Hubo tick. They dedicate their time daily towards advancing the cutting edge of humanoid robotics. But as they say, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. And that goes double for the world of bipedal robots. Using advanced simulation programs, known as DART and GRIP, the students plan out the actions they wish for the robots to perform in realistic environments with physics similar to the real world. However, doing so requires a lot of prior planning and mountains upon mountains of coding. But once everything's been tested, they can finally upload their algorithms into Hubo, the newest robot in the lab developed at the Korean Advanced Institute of Science and Technology, or KAIST, in South Korea. Hubo is a complete anthropomorphic humanoid robot and the lab is currently developing novel planning and control algorithms for his system. But the lab has a lot more in store for Hubo's future. Georgia Tech is but one of many branches of the DRC Hubo team competing in the DARPA Robotics Challenge. The team has split up taking on the many tasks required by the challenge. Georgia Tech will be attempting to teach Hubo how to cut through a wall. Perhaps an easy task by human standards, but robotics engineers and programmers take no such thing for granted. They'll have to prepare if they want to take home that DARPA prize. The students in the team range from first year undergrads to PhD students and run themselves through a veritable boot camp of physics, calculus, kinematics, and a plethora of other subjects crucial to the understanding and development of humanoid robots. The going is tough, but the hours of student-taught sessions will prove to be invaluable to them in the future. Now it's time to start the simulation process. Hubo needs to know how to grab and hold onto objects if he ever wants to have hopes of cutting through a wall. A variety of shapes are used to expand the team's knowledge of Hubo's grasp. Once that's done, it's finally Hubo's turn to carefully hop off his stand and get ready for testing. Free from his tethers, Gravity is now the biggest challenge that Hubo faces. It's slow going at first. Like a child, Hubo is constantly met with obstacles that seem completely trivial to the human eye. But it seems that the simulation has proven effective. Teleoperation, a technique used to give someone control over Hilo's extremities, will be used in conjunction with his grasping techniques in order to cut properly. Finally, the team decides it's time for Hubo to get hands-on. From here on, it's trial and error. As the team tries, and tries until they finally get the result that they're looking for. There's always something new going on in the humanoid robotics lab. Students continue to push the boundaries of what a robot can do. 
The only limit that we face is that of the imagination. Only time will tell what's in store next for Hubo, or what his next big breakthrough might be. But whatever it is, there's no doubt that it will start with a single step.